In this video, I'll explain the Aptos blockchain in under five minutes. Although I'll talk about several cryptocurrencies in this video, this isn't a suggestion that you do or do not buy any of them. This is for educational purposes only. Now, let's get into it. First, a bit about exactly what Aptos is and who is behind it. Aptos is a layer one blockchain that allows for smart contracts similar to Ethereum, but they have a few important things that differentiate them from Ethereum as well as other existing blockchains. First, their guiding ethos is that they are apparently committed to developing products and applications that redefine the Web3 user experience. That's a direct quote from them. And so they're focused on, quote, seamless usability to bring the benefits of decentralization to the masses. And then again here on their other website, they mention that they're built with user experience as a core focus. And anyone who has used crypto on-chain extensively knows that poor user experience is one of the major things plaguing the world of crypto right now. Other technical features of Aptos include that they developed their own virtual machine. Most layer ones do not, so this again is a sign of the team's technical proficiency. They also use a delegated proof of stake system like many major chains to, to reach consensus on their network. And they promise a transactions per second of 160,000, which would put most existing chains to shame. However, admittedly, they are not there yet, at least not on their main net. The next differentiator between Aptos and existing layer ones is that Aptos smart contracts use a language known as Move. Move was also first developed for Facebook's DM blockchain project. Now, Facebook's DM project has since been shut down because of regulation, but as we'll see, the ties between Aptos and DM run very deep as the founding team of Aptos, as well as many of their engineers, came from Facebook or Meta. Now let's talk about the team behind Aptos. The two founders are Mo Shaikh and Avery Ching, both of whom previously worked at Meta, and their connections in the world of Web2 run very deep. If you look at the investors behind Aptos, then it's a laundry list of some of the biggest names in crypto. This is both a positive and a risk, I'll say, because although having the support of major investors can cause chains to do very well, recall how well Solana did last cycle, combined with some of Aptos's tokenomics that we'll talk about in a minute, there is the risk of retail investors who buy now potentially getting dumped on by large funds as these tokens come unlocked in future years. Now let's talk a bit about Aptos's tokenomics and financials. Aptos currently has a market cap of around $1.8 billion with a fully diluted valuation of nearly $10 billion. As I mentioned before, this is a major risk because although most of these tokens won't come unlocked for years, they will start coming unlocked in October. So if you're buying now with the plan of holding for a multi-year time frame, be mindful that there will have to be enough new demand to outstrip the fact that all of these tokens are coming onto the market. Looking at other financials, the total value locked on the chain, that's deposits in DeFi, is just over $50 million right now, nearly $52 million in fact. One thing I like about Aptos is they already have a vibrant and growing ecosystem. Here on their GitHub, you can see that they have a whole host of different types of projects developing on top of Aptos. And to highlight a few that you might use if you're interested in the chain, First, there is the Petra wallet. This is known as the Web3 wallet to explore Aptos, and it's the one referenced on their official website. If you're looking to bridge to Aptos, then you can use the Liquid Swap bridge, and I highlight this one as well because if you're looking to potentially qualify for a Layer 0 airdrop, then this bridge may be of interest to you because it uses Layer 0 technology. Once you get to Aptos, perhaps you'll want to swap for different tokens. The largest DEX on Aptos at the moment is known as Thala. However, if you're looking for something that's a bit more familiar and an app that has been deployed for longer on other chains, then PancakeSwap, the largest exchange on Binance Smart Chain, is also deployed on Aptos. If you're looking to stake your Aptos tokens, then there's several liquid staking options on Aptos, one of which is Tortuga and one of which is Ditto. And finally, if you perhaps decide you really want to dive into the Aptos community and get your Aptos name, you can do so at aptosnames.com. I have no affiliation with them, but perhaps you want to get a .apt just like you see people with .eth. There's your five minute rundown of Aptos. Hope you enjoyed the new format. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.